Joe, show me that bait you made, man. Look, this is professional. We are going sword fishing today. You gotta have that so bend so it spins. You gotta spins. have that bend so it spins a lot when you're under the water. And we're gonna add an iguana tail to this side also. They love iguana. Special catch. bait we've made. We're taking it out today. Okay. Hey everybody, here's Big Al from the neighborhood. What we got? For, what do we have for bait today, Al? We got big squid. We big got squid the, over here. The Nita belly, dolphin yeah. belly. All right. Oh yeah. I, we're gonna get one today. Oh yeah. All Kidding right. Yourself. And there's Colorado Jim. We haven't seen him in a video for a while, but he's here today. The third mate, fourth mate today. Hey, is the is the weather a little better here than Colorado? Here, let me just just slightly. Let me see that. All right, in Joe's custom chaos boat, we, right behind the uh, captain's chair, he's got a couple of spots. He keeps bait on the one side and drinks on the other. Looks like we got water, ice, tea, and sodas for today. It's gonna be a good day out there. Looks like a brand new LP. Can't wait to see the bite on that, baby. It's, it's amazing. We get the boat ready at night before we go but yet there's still 30 minutes worth of work to do in the morning. But we sure are glad we got the fourth mate along today to do the work. Good job, Jimmy, keep it up. All right, we're all loaded up. We got everybody on board. We got uh, Captain Smokey Joe over here. Up front, we got Colorado Jim and we got Big Al. We're just headed out, out of uh, Joe's little cut here into Lake Surprise. This old neighborhood I used to live in. Great place to be. Look how calm that water is. If it's this way all the way out to Floyd's Wall, we're gonna get there in a hurry. got the the new LP it's gonna have its first drop today we're getting rigged up so what what kind of bait you got there Joe Captain Joe good tasting bait a bonita belly or dolphin belly it looks like a bonita belly. belly bonita belly we're getting rigged up um, today we're gonna try and fish a second line so we got to rig that second bait on the Antanacom here these guys are putting a bimini I could, I didn't show you the whole thing, but what they're doing is they're wrapping it back on itself now. When it gets down to his finger, then he's going to throw a half hitch in it. And then I'll throw a couple more half hitches over both lines and that will keep that not dead solid. What that does is it doubles up our line. It's just a classic bimini knot. And we're going to fish two swordfish baits today. Okay, so we put a big swordfish bait on. It's behind the boat just dropped about 10 or 12 pounds of weight on and now we're going to drop it out 1600 feet 1600 feet because it says it right on the reel there so there's no guessing with it 1600 feet and then when he turns around to make a 180 to come back up this line then i'm going to put this rig out and we're going to run it down 1400 feet or so and we'll have two lines down today. We'll see what happens. Okay, we've got the Tanacom down about 1,300 feet. You can see the waves bouncing the weight there. Then we've got the LP over here. How, how deep are we, Al? 1,900 feet. 1,900 feet of line out. We're in, what, 1,600 feet of water or so, Joe? Yeah. Okay, so when this... It goes down, it goes down straight, and then you catch the uh, the uh, Gulf Stream and it puts a big bow in it, and then below the Gulf Stream, the line runs straight down again. So if we do get a swordfish, we'll see the tip of the rod rattle a little bit. And the Tandacom is pretty light, and so it'll shake a little more. And hopefully we get something hooked up. 
All right, we got a fish on here. I was bringing it up to check it. Could be the drag because of a fish. Here we go. But it's been, it stopped it a couple of times on the way up. So we got Captain Joe here, man in the rod now. So we got Colorado Jim back there with the gaff. Smokey Joe's on the rod now. I was bringing it in and it got, the drag got stopped while it was just coming in smoothly. And now we've got the drag jumping some. So not sure what's going on. Hopefully we got a fish on here. And the color down below, I've been watching. Color. Not fish color though. Okay, that's it. All right, we did a uh, quite a drift, and we got this coming up. We did a five-mile drift. Didn't really see any bites, so we'll bring this up. Once in a while, you'll get hit on the way up. Would that be nice, Al? Yeah, that would be a good trip. Perfectly good bait just came on board. Yeah. Wow. Well, Putting the second line out, it's kind of like fishing for bluegills. We got a big old bobber there. We put out uh, 1,500 feet of line. Then clip this into a dropper loop. Al's fishing straight up and down, right Al? Yes sir. All right. And I'm gonna drop our ball about, I don't know, 50 yards behind the boat or so. And that will uh, give us a spot to be fishing. Hopefully something comes along and takes that bobber under. All right, we've been out here for four hours now. Have not had a bite. We've got Big Al working the LP right there. He's, he's down on the bottom, straight down. Then we've got the Tanacom out with the ball on the float there. And over on this side, we've got a Ballyhoo out on this rod right here, just drifting. So far, we haven't had a bite. But at least it's a beautiful day. It's as calm as I've ever seen it out here on the swordfish grounds. Not a lot of current, but we're having fun. I don't know what kind of fish this is. I, I scooped him up in a little bit of sargasm. Look at, look at how wide open his mouth is there. We're gonna let him go. So here he goes. He's just headed to the bottom. He'll be looking for a new piece of weed to go on. Now I shook the piece of weed out. Check this stuff out. Here's a little crab. There's a shrimp over here. See the crab crawling there? Look at this big shrimp there. It's really not that big, but it's amazing how much life there is out here. Look at this crab. This clear stuff is some kind of jellyfish. Little baby shrimps. Just check this stuff out. It is so cool. Wow. We'll get them all back there in the ocean. They'll find some more weeds to float on. All right, I just scooped this weed out of the water here. You'll be amazed at how much life there is inside this. Oh, look at the size of this crab. Woo! He's big enough for baits. Look at that crab. Floating out here in the middle of the ocean in this weed. See how he just blends right in with it? That's the biggest crab I've ever caught out of, the, out of a weed line. We'll let him go. 
Now we're gonna shake this up here a little bit. Check this out. There's another crab there. Look, there's a crab there. Let's see, what else is in here? Oh, there's baby shrimp. There's another crab over there running down the line. Some more shrimpies. That's uh, some kind of jellyfish. Cool looking stuff. All right, we'll send them all back where they came from. So that's why when we're out here fishing, we're looking for the weed lines because the weed line is a buffet. The little fish will be in there eating the crabs and the shrimp. And then the bigger fish will come and eat the little fish. And then the top predators will be here. That's what we're looking for today, the top predators. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. There's my swordfish bait. That squid looks perfect, just like when we put him down. Not a bite on him. The ball ended up close to the boat, so I thought maybe we had a fish on. And Al's coming up and he hasn't had a bite either. We've seen some tuna or something off in the distance. If we get lucky, we'll see them when we got all our lines up. But it takes 20 minutes to bring these lines up from the bottom. But we'll get there. All right, there's some porpoise right here, just past my ball. Did you feed him, Al? Yeah. Threw him a bally hoop. Well, that one looked like flipper. Lots of people are probably familiar with um, the Portuguese man of war. There's, that is not what that is. That is a wanderer of the sea, I believe is the name of these. And check that out. He's got a big flat area that he that he um, floats on with a sail up above. See these little tentacles? Some of them broke off here. I haven't touched them. I imagine they sting like the dickens. But look at those guys, wanderers of the seas. There's hundreds of them out here. Here's a couple more going past the boat right now. Some more coming. Go, go ahead, Al. <laughs> You're killing that poor kid. Okay, you want to send him? Want to release him too? There we go. Oh, my fingers. Look, but there's one right there. I think delirium has set in. We have not had a bite yet. I think everybody's delirious. We're dehydrated. Just don't know what's going to happen. And he just. He just kicked a little stronger for some reason. There he is. Just hanging out with the boat now. There he is. You on camera? We swordfished for eight or nine hours and did not get a bite. See what we do in part two, deep dropping yellow eyes. Yeah, right up in front.